Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me again Chelsea and today I'm starting my weekly reading vlog. It is Sunday so if you saw my last reading vlog I'm pretty much starting this where I left off just a couple of hours later. If you haven't seen last week's weekly reading vlog I'll link it up here for you so you can check it out. I read two books but you know lots of chatting went into it. There's noise in the background from my neighbours so if you can hear that I apologise if you can't thank goodness because I definitely can but anyways it is Sunday as I mentioned in that last vlog I was going to try and put myself on a bit of a phone ban because well you know <laughs> I'm on my phone a lot more than I should be and I should really put it down from time to time and so far I can say that I've kind of stuck to it so I started it about two it is now almost half three so book roasts uh so g from book roast video goes up in half an hour and i plan to watch that but i might put it on the tv um and for the past hour and a half i haven't really been on my phone i've glanced at it to look at notifications but i haven't actually scrolled and i've just sat and i've finished gimel girls now no that's not reading no that's not being productive but i just i, I had like an episode and a half left of gimel girls of this like rewatch for the like sixth or seventh time or eighth or ninth i don't know i rewatch it quite a lot to be fair and yeah i just really wanted to finish that i haven't started a year in the life i'll probably start that later in the week or maybe i'll wait until september october because it's i don't know there's a there's an episode based in autumn so that's quite nice but I do plan to get some reading done. There are some sprints tonight at six, so maybe I'll take part in those. I'm not too sure right now. I'm just kind of seeing where the day takes me. I did plan to do some washing, but the washing machine is currently in use and I don't think it's been emptied. So, nothing I can really do about that, apart from nag, and I don't really wanna do that. So, I don't know what I'm gonna read. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna read because every time I tell you what I'm gonna read, I don't do it and I don't want to be like that today so I am just gonna pick up something as and when I feel like reading and yeah I'd like to just get some stuff done I would like to just do general stuff like empty the bin and and that kind of thing but other than that I'm just kind of I wanted to have like a really productive day like top tier productivity level but just not feeling it so i'm gonna do some basic tasks and just get them done and then maybe i'll just chip away at them throughout the rest of the week but yeah maybe i'll come back in a bit with an update if i have one if not i've started this vlog a day earlier than i should have last week i started it a day late so we're just trying to get back into the the swing of things really but i shall see you a bit later on for an update or tomorrow for a completely new update but at least now the vlog has been started so i will either see you later on or i'll see you tomorrow until then i'll see you in a bit hello everyone and happy monday so it is monday evening oh gosh try not to tip that over it is monday evening you are balanced on a very precarious table if i'm completely honest um i've done karate i've done work it is um like 20 past eight and I am currently enjoying a Domino's pizza because we, me and my other half, had some good news today. Well, he had good news, so I'm just enjoying it. Um, had some really good news. Something he's been working on has finally been approved. And we, I, felt as though we have to celebrate every little win because at the minute there seems like so many things are against us. So it is just nice to kind of celebrate. So we got Domino's to celebrate thanks to my mum <laughs> pretty much donated to the cause um because she's not here so if you're watching this mum thank you very much i'm enjoying my dominoes um and yeah i think i'm gonna do some reading sprints i'm currently finishing the adams family while i'm eating my tea and i don't know what i'm gonna read i have a whole stack of books on the floor that i'm gonna dnf out of my currently reading because it is just the piles just got so big i've reorganized i'll show you in one second um but the pile just got so big, I've DNF'd five books, so it's not a lot, but five out of, I think I'm currently reading 21 books, um, so that really takes the number down considerably. And I was just starting to get a little bit worried about leaving bookmarks in and 
denting pages which I've already kind of done and I've done it to Brisinger and I don't want to do it again because it's really difficult to fix when you've left it for too long so hopefully I've caught these just in the nick of time to be able to kind of squish them back together again. I think my plan for this week's video, because I haven't filmed it yet, is going to be to film all of the books I've DNF'd so far this year and give like my reasoning. I thought it'd be quite cool to do that. I've really been struggling over what to do. Um, I have also got a book tag, reader tag thing lined up that I want to also film to kind of like put in the bank for when I need another video and I probably will need another video. So... That's always good to to know, I guess. If you can hear him in the background, he's playing a game while enjoying pizza and a beer, so we'll let him do. We'll let him enjoy himself. But yeah, so I have a long list of books I'm meant to be reading this month, and instead of reading any of the books that were on my TBR, I decided to pick up The Lies of Loch Lamora, and I'm about 80, 90 pages in now, uh, just from yesterday alone, because I just didn't feel like picking up anything else. And <laughs> really wound myself up a little bit about it because that's not what I should be doing but at the same time I have kind of been fighting off a bit of a reading slump so if I finish The Among Us TBR fantastic but if I still manage to read more books this month just purely for the fact I can and just purely for enjoyment then that's what I'm looking forward to. I have decided that I'm going to try and take part in two readathons next month. I don't know if you've seen it but G from Book Roast has announced her magical readathon which we're kind of doing like a tester thing in September and then you have until April. I'm pretty sure that noise is just granddad watering the lawn out the back. That's a fun noise, sorry about that. There's a lot of distractions on a Monday evening apparently. The second part of the Magical Readathon is that we have until April 22 to complete like a set of tasks which kind of relate to how we've built our character, so where they're from, their race, um, and whether they're a wildling or an urban. So I don't know a lot about it because I haven't fully looked into it. I watched the video, it's very, very cool. I cannot wait to get into that. I also can't wait for Becca's Bookopoly video, which is on Thursday, and see the board that she's created. And I think I'll probably just do four rolls from that and try and encompass both lots of prompts into the same books if I can so I need to start having to think about what I want to do and designing my character which is pretty cool I'm kind of got my heart set on being a dwarf because they're sassy apparently and logical and something about them just kind of speaks to me I think I'd make a great dwarf I think I am part dwarf so there's that I'm just blabbering on so let me just show you what I've done with my shelves so here are a load of books that I have DNF'd for now and it's not forever it's just for now and then here is the shelf so from this point on so from Alice is where we start the D the DNF no the currently reading shelf so it's quite chunky I have got an audiobook and a graphic novel or two also on my kindle I've got a couple of books actually on my kindle so that's always fun but yeah I'm just gonna leave this here I haven't actually picked up anything yet today I might pick up Poppy War I might not I every time I'm pretty sure I tell you guys that I'm going to read something specific I never end up doing that so I'm gonna see what I feel like after I've eaten probably join Rose Sprints over on Wandering Worlds I'm pretty sure that's her channel name and then we'll just take it from there and hopefully I I will get a chunk of pages gone today of I don't really care what just something that I'm currently reading I just want to get this currently reading shelf down I want to stop picking up new books <laughs> and just carry on with the books that I am reading and then that way we can just slowly work our way through the shelves but in all honesty I'm currently on like 46 books read I need to read 52 so on this shelf I would have I literally only have to read like five books on this shelf to complete my year target and then the rest of these books will take me over it so that's the plan so i'm gonna go sit finish my pizza join some sprints and then pick up something and then i will be back tomorrow to let you know what i managed to pick up so i'll see you then hello everyone and happy wednesday so uh it's like half 12 and i <laughs> I'm so done already with my day, but I have so many things I need to do. I 
I'm obviously midway through my day working, which is great fun. Um, I need to film for today's video, <laughs> which I haven't done yet because yesterday I was meant to do it, but yesterday I got my second COVID jab and I got hit with a ton of bricks, essentially. I ended up in bed for the entire afternoon, but after like a couple of hours, everything went away. It got a lot better. I went for a walk last night. That made me feel better, but my arm, kills so much to the point where I couldn't sleep properly because I usually sleep on my left and I got the jab on my left because I'm right-handed <sighs> but I feel okay relatively I feel a bit tired and I think that's quite normal but it is what it is so like I said plans for today I need to film today's video I need to edit and upload today's video <laughs> um I'm pretty sure I said something about filming all the books I've DNF this year I think that might still be a good idea. I'll link the video up here. That's gone live because I, I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, there's there's not a lot really to update you because I didn't feel particularly great yesterday. I didn't read an awful lot. I am past 100 pages though, I think, in Poppy War, which is great. I can't really look because you're on, on the book. Um, but yeah. I also had the nice realisation that next week I'm only working Monday, Tuesday and then I'm off from Wednesday until the following Wednesday which is so so good but I'm not off to do nothing, I am working a festival so I am looking forward to that, um, it should be good fun, I like being on festivals, I like working them, they're good, they're, they're a good time. But other than that, my plans for today, don't really know what they are, um, mm -mm, I should probably get a snack or something i'm starting to feel a bit peckish before i film and yeah that is pretty much my babbly update that's all i've got to tell you <laughs> i've read a bit of poppy war i'm gonna film something now and we'll see what it is when i upload it i still have half my day of work left Ugh, i'm actually done with this week already <sighs> but it's fine <laughs> Um, but I'm um, just gonna, oh, I have something to show you. So, the thing I want to show you is this. I got uh, this from a lovely girl on Instagram. She put this up on her story and said that she basically got sent a fit this finished copy by the publisher, but she'd also got it in her Goldsboro subscription so she's like does anyone actually want it who's gonna actually read it and i've been umming and ahhing about whether or not to buy this book is fantasy i don't know an awful lot about it it's called the gauntlet and the fist beneath i think and it's by ian green and there's lightning on the cover and that is kind of what drew me in is all this beautiful foiling it looks stunning it sounds pretty good I have read the first couple of pages just to see if it's my sort of thing. I'm a little bit lost, but that's what happens at the start of pretty much every fantasy ever. So, you know, there's that. I don't know if this is a series, a standalone or what, but I'm really looking forward to getting into it and finding time to read it. Maybe I'll find time during the Magical Readathon slash Bookopoly next month because, you know, I don't know we'll see i'm a little bit worried about my reading <laughs> from october onwards though if i'm completely honest because since starting my youtube channel i have either been furloughed or only working full-time a couple of weeks and then being off for nine to twelve weeks or working from home and working from home means i don't have the massive commute anymore it means i can literally grab a book and sit and read it on my lunch break i don't have to worry about taking it with me it means that if you know something it's a particularly quiet day and there's nothing for me to do i could just sit there and read should i choose to so there's just a lot more freedom and i don't know how me going back to work is going to actually affect my reading because yeah last year when i started this channel i started it officially i started it last march but i count my one year anniversary as the like i think it's my bookopoly tbr for last year because that's when i first started actually posting consistently so we're not offer off my my one year anniversary that i have picked for myself <laughs> but it's my channel it's my rules and yeah i 
I was getting into the whole booktube thing at the start of 2020 and I was reading at work for like two months and then it you know everything kicked off and we got sent home and then I got put on furlough so yeah I'm just interested in seeing how everything is gonna fit because I don't know how it is gonna fit but I've babbled on for at least six minutes hopefully I can cut some of this down <laughs> I'm gonna leave this update here and I will catch up with you either tomorrow or later on tonight I don't know depends what I'm doing depends what I decide to do reading wise pretty much this depends if I just pick up a book because if I don't then there's no point in me catching you up because there's nothing to tell you but yeah right I'm gonna leave this here I'm gonna go record get some lunch and I'll see you all in a bit bye hello welcome to my orangey light I didn't actually realise it came across this orange on camera, but oh well, hello, happy Thursday. Did I talk to you yesterday? Can't remember. Obviously editing me will have said whether that is true and whether I spoke to you yesterday. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I complained about my arm to you yesterday. My arm feels a lot better today. Still a bit sore. Uh, I feel less tired. I feel less ugh. However, I did go to karate this evening and <laughs> we were going through the kicks that you do. And... Uh, got very warm got a little bit too sweaty and then i kind of went i feel really sick <laughs> so i'm glad i only did an hour today i was planning on doing two but i also wanted to go food shopping so i decided to only do the hour for the beginners which is what i currently am and just leave and not keel over and go and do some food shopping and then my food shopping habits kind of and bearing in mind i had a knockoff squares marshmallow bar before i went because i was like maybe that's why i feel sick because i haven't eaten since lunchtime and my sugar's a bit weird um <laughs> that could have been it and then i went shopping and then i went well what do i want for tea and i came out with chicken nuggets and halloumi fries because i am healthy as a human i did have veg with that by the way but yeah weird shop i also came out with a lot of cheese some crackers and a shed ton of noodles because aldi had them on special offer so you know i had to buy them and they had my favorite ones which are actually the southern fried chicken noodles so i got three packets of them three packets of like beef ones and then two other pot ones for us to try not that you care about my noodle buying habits but there you go books that's what you care about so today i've actually managed to read a bit more of the poppy war i am officially on chapter eight which is page a hundred and something page 159 i managed to get to that before i went to karate i think i'm gonna sit here and read a bit more i've got becca on the tv on the background it looks very blurry because my camera's just focusing on my face um and yeah i think i'm just gonna sit here and read quietly <laughs> and tomorrow's a new day and hopefully tomorrow i'll wake up in a better mood i have i have like one really big task to do for work that's due in like september because essentially it's notes for a meeting that happened in july and it's now august and i'm still yet to finish these notes bring in mind i wasn't at this meeting at all so i'm working off a recording but that is my biggest task that i need to get done and i just keep putting it off because i don't want to do it so yeah there's my plan i'm gonna sit here i'm gonna read i'm probably gonna turn becca off because she's gonna talk for another 13 minutes or 23 minutes even and i think i could really do with an asmr room in the background rather than someone talking because i because i feel like that's gonna really really distract me so i'm gonna leave this here hopefully get some reading done and just wait for jack to come home from band practice otherwise i haven't really achieved much oh i signed up for scribd for 60 days because apparently that's where the empire of gold is recorded recorded that's where the audiobook of the empire of gold is and i think i might listen to it audibly once i finished winter's orbit so that's my plan i don't know why i signed up now i should have really waited until i finished winter's orbit otherwise i'm just gonna run out of days for it to be free before i have to cancel it because i'm cheap I'm not cheap, I'm just broke. But anyways, right, I'm going to shut up. ASMR room. Poppy war. Okay. See you tomorrow. Hello, good evening. Once again, we're with the really orangey light and the really weird background noise. That is the PlayStation. But I thought I'd come on and actually 
say hi. Um, it is Friday. I have done some reading, but not reading of anything on my TBR. I actually listened to a comment put by a lovely person who watched my videos saying that the Empire of the Gold, so the Day of a Bad trilogy, were actually on script. And I checked it out and I've got like a 60 day free trial. And I've been listening to Empire of Gold not all day like this morning when I was doing some admin -y stuff for work and I'm now on chapter 9 um, which means I have man many hours left anyways it's a very big book but I've done 12% apparently of 25 hours left so you know I've read something today it's not necessarily what's on my TBR but it is what it is I'm just happy that I've read something and i've made some sort of progress once again i'm leaving all of my physical reads until the very end of the month which are we surprised no not really am i going to complete my actual tbr for this month probably not but that's fine also today i have filmed my roles for bookoplathon so i just need to actually put um the video together and actually film me talking. I plan to do two TBR videos, one for Magical Readathon hosted by Book Roast and one for Book Oplathon hosted by Becca and the Books. And this is purely for the fact that I think I might be wrong now. Um once I film these videos it might actually only come to like 30 minutes, depends how long I want to talk. But I didn't want to rush and I didn't want to put out like an hour long video about me talking about what I want to do because I want to go through the character that I picked for Magical Readathon, I want to go through the prompts and like the possible books I'm going to pick for that and maybe some alternatives if I manage to read a lot more which we'll see. Um, I am in the car next month for two hours a day, I think I've mentioned that somewhere so maybe I will get some audiobooks done and now that I have scribbed maybe I can actually find a range of the books that I've got on my list on scribbed. I don't know we'll we'll have to see um and i also want to go through the april prompts and kind of discuss where i kind of want to go with them and then i obviously want to do the separate video of bookoplathon because i filmed my roles and that didn't take very long at all i had to use my phone as i don't have two die so i've done that as best i can um <laughs> and yeah i want to obviously discuss the books in length I, I guess I don't really know um we'll, we'll see what happens but my TBR videos are usually between like 15 25 minutes long depending on what I'm doing so I just thought break it up into two videos and I will be posting them next week so keep your eyes open for that there will be no weekly reading vlog next week because I am busy from Wednesday until Monday morning early hours so I will have no time to film or edit well I'll, have, I'll probably have time to film but I'll have no time to edit in time for Sunday so we're, we're doing this instead and then my wrap-up should be the week after so content is coming and I'm getting excited about it I'm a little bit worried about how I'm going to do my content while working a full-time job but I know many other people do it so I'm just gonna have to schedule my time and use it wisely that's all I can do and yeah that's me babbling babbling on I've read a bit more of Poppy War not a lot more but again that's okay so small steps and tomorrow I plan on going on a walk in the morning and then we've got a gig in the evening for Jack's band and then Sunday I'm spending time with my sister so I need to get this edited at some point tomorrow morning and then do like a wrap up -y thing first thing on Sunday maybe we'll see how that goes I don't know I might just wrap this up on Saturday just so it can go up so I might just wrap it up tomorrow so it can go up um, in time for Sunday. But yeah, that's my wrap up for today. I hope you've had a great Friday and I will see you tomorrow. Hello everyone and happy Sunday. So I'm here to wrap up the vlog and I realized that I didn't actually talk to you at all yesterday and that was because poop hit the fan. So as I said before, I was meant to go to a gig last night. Unfortunately, uh, Jack's band couldn't go because of sickness um yeah so i ended up not doing that and jack ended up working instead so i wanted to read 
didn't. I watched a lot of NCIS because I'm doing a... I watched, again, it's like Criminal Minds. I had watched up to a certain point and then I hadn't seen any of the newer series. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just watching it and doing that instead of reading, which I do quite a lot. And then I also went to HomeSense yesterday, so I thought I'd just quickly show you what I got. I got a calendar, which is on the wall already and filled in, so I'm not going to show you that. I got some fine point pens, which... I've been after it for ages, um, but I wanted to get some of the like proper branded ones. Um, is it the Stabilo ones, I think? Um, but these were only like four quid, so I was like, well, I'll get these instead. And I got two Halloween inspired candles. So I got this one, which says spooky, and it's like this um, glittery tub, and the candle's white inside. Oh, smells like pumpkins like, and spices and all the lovely things that i love about halloween and i also got this one which is called ghost stories and this smells like marshmallows and pumpkin spice marshmallows caramelized over hickory wood atop cinnamon graham crackers and it's just white on the inside of that one as well and i usually pick the ones that have got like the coolest tubs because my grand plan is that when i eventually use the whole candle which will obviously take me a while because you only burn them for specific months of the year well i do anyways to try and make them last that I will do something with the tubs afterwards I don't know maybe I'll learn to pour candles myself and I'll just make pumpkin candles all year round because it's my favorite smell <laughs> but anyways reading wise I predominantly read the poppy war this week I got to page 186 I'm really not that far off part two um which is about 20 pages away I think so you know i'm getting i'm getting further i just haven't picked it up for the past couple of days and i'm going out today so i probably won't pick it up today either and i have not read any more of the empire of gold but we're just gonna see where i got to i got two 12% 25 hours left i'm not sure if i'm gonna listen to that on the car on my drive uh today or what i don't really know what i'm feeling the weather's nice so that's good yesterday i absolutely tipped it down and it just kind of brought everything down mood everything but i did go for a walk yesterday i did still do just under 5k in the morning despite the rain i went walking in the rain <laughs> It was good fun, actually. I really enjoyed it. Um, but I'm going to leave this here now. Like I have said before, there will be no weekly reading vlog next week. Um, I need to get my butt in gear and film my TBR videos so I can get them filmed, edited, scheduled, uploaded, all that fun stuff so that they can just go up on their own. So that is everything for this week's vlog. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. It really supports me and my channel. I like to know whether you like watching me ramble about my life. It's always fun to know. Uh, if you want to leave me a comment down below, what did you read this week? And if you just want to leave me a emoji, just leave me rain clouds because this week's been a bit weird, been a bit grey, but it's going to get better next week. I know it is. Weather and mood, both. And if you want to see more of me and see when my weekly reading vlogs come back, see my TBRs for the next month please consider subscribing down below and ringing that notification bell so you get notified every single time i upload new videos i currently upload on a wednesday and on a sunday so be sure to stick around for more bookish content from me but otherwise that is everything for today's video i hope you're having an amazing day and i'll see you soon in the next video bye